Alright, praises be unto Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, Ba Hashem Rechach Wadash, double honors unto the elder apostles and the elder bishops at the Great Millstone who were well and taught us this truth. Shalom to the hundred and forty four thousand and the rest of the elect. Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, Brak Thumb. And um, <clears throat> what you can see here is an article from Sky News. And it says, uh, when was this dated? Today. Okay. Uh, this afternoon at 2.49. And um, it's entitled, Is Conscription Coming Back? How it's been used in previous wars and what a UK citizen army would involve in the fu in future. Uh, comments from top military officials about what could happen if NATO goes to war with Russia have made conscription feel closer than it has in generations. But what exactly is conscription? How has it worked in the past? And how is it different to a citizen army? Right, so it says conscription hasn't been used in the UK for more than 60 years. Um, General Sir Patrick Sa uh, Sanders the outgoing head of the British Army said such a conflict would need to be a whole of nation undertaken, which reignited the debate about defence cuts and volunteering to fight. Um, here Sky News looks at how the UK has used conscription before and what military experts and the government say about bringing it back. So what is conscription? Conscription legally requires certain age groups to join the armed forces. It was introduced in January 1916 uh, for 18 months in the First World War when a law required all single men aged 18 to 41 to join up. Yeah, I bet everyone had a girlfriend then. Um, then it said uh, <laughs> there were ex uh, exceptions for certain workers and people considered medically unfit uh, and had a few months later married men were also called up. The law wasn't unpopular. More than 200,000 protested against it. About 2.5 million men joined through conscription, which lasted until 1920. Although the main conflict with Germany ended in 1918, conscription was extended to enable, and I quote, enable the army to deal with continuing trouble spots in the empire and parts of Europe, according to the UK Parliament website. Um, Scott, uh, would you say, conscription returned to the, to the Second World War, adding about 1.5 million people to the army and were extended to women for the first time you know um i'm just just breathe through this um conscription it says the conscription applied to women those were unmarried and childless widows between the ages of 20 to 30 from december 1941 so yeah all you women out here man you know i'm single i can do battle well myself i'm miss independent understand that back then which ain't all that long ago yeah you was a single woman between the age of 20 to 30 your ass was getting cold man so all you little young girls man from you know 17 16 17 up you know listening to cardi b and Nicki minaj you know when meg the stallion wherever these artists are and um lizzo fatso you know, all these, you, all your little pop stars you want to be listening to, brainwashing you that, you know, you know, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, Beyonce. Listen, man, your asses might get carted off the war. Yeah, you might get carted off the war, man. Okay, and I say good. I say good, man. <clears throat> so, like, I just ate some, washing it down with a drink, some carrot juice. But, um... Um, look, man, in the UK, yeah, in the UK, these girls have a stink ass attitude, man. I can talk for the UK, man. Okay, I can talk for the UK. I'm over here. These English girls, man, say English, these uh, really, you black women in, in the UK, just put it like that, they've got a real bad attitude, man. 
you know, and, and London, London is, is the worst, you know, they all, women all over the place, you know, up north, Midlands, whatever, but the woman with the worst attitude is found in London, man, these London bitches think that, that they're it, okay, but and they don't watch the news, all they watch is, you know, who wore what dress to what event, and them kind of things, they ain't talking shit and wigs, that's all they know about, yeah, they don't watch the news, so it's going to be a nasty surprise, that when these kind of um, uh, 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 rules come back, man, they're going to be taken by surprise, okay, they're going to get carted off to war, okay, you know, you weren't a nurse, you better be a nurse now, yeah, yeah, you want, you want to, you, you know, you want to be battled by yourself, okay, go be battled on a war field, okay, you know, because the, the scriptures speak about that, um, Slay early old, uh, what's that, Ezekiel, uh, let me see something, I think that's Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, Ezekiel, let me see something, Ezekiel, um, is it nine, I believe, <clears throat> Ezekiel 9, Yes, yes, yes. Ezekiel 9 and 6. Slay early, old and young, both maids and little children, and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. And that mark is the wa in Hebrew, meaning exemption from judgment. Not to be mixed up with the charagma, the implantable microchip. Okay, this mark is the wa in Hebrew, meaning exemption from judgment. And begin at my sanctuary, then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. So... Women get mentioned a lot. Made as young women, little children, you know, include boys and girls and women. So a lot of death out here is going to be because of women. That's going to be experienced the most in America. But, you know, people are going to get killed over here in the UK too. But, of course, the main place for death is over there in America, man. You know, but a large way, a large means of deleting a lot of people is by conscription. Okay, people may go via the means of conscription, man. You know. You know, I just read an article over there about in on Sky News. I was, you know, just looking through the news app, seeing if there was anything I could do a short on. And I read an article about this dude that just got killed. He got um he got uh he got what's the word, man? Executed. He the first guy they tried out the nitrogen mask. They said he would, you know, within 30 seconds go unconscious and die but it ended up being minutes of him fighting and going through pain and ultimately suffocating you know and um uh you know that was his way of execution you know death row well joining the army man especially for this final world war man it's just the execution method you know you go to war you're dead okay but that's in the scriptures man you know because that, that third world war, you know, you thinking, oh, okay, we're going to go over there and fight this country or that country or fighting them. Listen, man, according to biblical prophecy, you're going to end up fighting against the Lord, man. Okay. You know, and it says here, um, at the same time, the age ranges from men were, were changed, uh, requiring military service up up until the age of 51 and some form of service until 60 so so what they're saying is man you know we know that you know it's not going to be no long drawn out war for years and years but the point is man you you you're signing you're signing your existence away man okay that says is conscription likely to make a comeback military experts are split on whether conscription is a realistic prospect in the 21st century britain uh, military analyst Professor Michael Clark told the Sky News Daily podcast the UK will probably have to go back to having a citizen army but stressed this is not the same as conscription so they, they definitely have been on the citizen army so that's what's up next man you know get your boots on Right, get your boots on, fasten your helmets, 
Hop two, three, four, yes sir, no sir, three backs, four sir. You right? Get in line, cause cause that's what's happening, man. They're gonna they're gonna train people up to make a citizen army. Okay. These these are the times we're living in, man. This is the end of the world, bro. It's the end of the world, man. They, you know, people, you know, they would have never thought it. Now their asses are getting carted off. About to getting ready to get carted off to the to the army, man. Okay. You know, now we know where it's gonna go. You start refusing. They, they amidst all of this, they're changing the financial system to the CBDC thing. Trump saying he's not gonna do it. Well, if he gets in there, he gonna do it, man. End of story. You know, and then um, uh uh, cause that's prophecy. You know, you start resisting. You know. You, your credits go down, the chip comes out. It's it's all feeding in, man. It's all happening, bro. Isaiah six, uh, 34 and 16, Seek out the book of the Lord and read, no one of these shall fail. So all these prophecies are, are, are culminating and coming together, man. And it's being shown that this is it, man. This is the end of the world, bro. Okay? You know, um, Scripture says in, um, uh, where are we at? Second Ezra's. The sixth chapter. <clears throat> Second Ezra, the sixth chapter, verse nine. It says it, man, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob, the beginning of it that followeth. What's going to be the end of Esau's world? The end of Esau's world is is uh, um, when Yahweh Shai comes back. And Yahweh Shai is coming back, um, you know, to, to, to make the war hotter, to make the fire hotter. Because fight, war is already going to get broken up. Missiles would already be flying. But the ultimate end of his world. Because let's just say the Lord don't come back. God forbid, most I forbid. Within, what did they say? Well, world War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. But at least they'll be there to fight with sticks and stones. The reason why it's the end of Esau's world is because Yahweh Shai is going gonna, is gonna to gate crash the party, man. Okay? And he's going to bring fire upon fire. And, and um, put down all rule and authority on the earth. And set up his kingdom, man. Given to him of his father, which we hope to be joint heirs in, man. So it all you can see the, the, the pieces coming together, man. You know. So the UK, they, 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 they're they making a citizen army, man. You know. So that's what's up over here, man. You know, that's what's up over here. <clears throat> so, yeah, man. <laughs> that's that's what that's what's up over here, you know. The citizen army. Yeah, see, helmet on. You know, bulletproof vest, camo gear. You know. Um. You know that's what it is. So. And the fact that they're doing so many articles on it, they're letting you know that's the direction that the world is going, man. So, I say bring it on. In the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak, Wadash, man. These things must need to happen, man. The scriptures speak about that wars and rumours of wars. Well, the war is in on World War Three. It's, it's a, it's a rumour right now, man. Okay? And what's happening is that um, the Lord is beginning to gather these armies, man. you got the whole thing going on over there. I just saw another report come out, live off the, live, you know, off the press. They had it down there as breaking news. How um, some other place got bombed to do the Israel thing. I've got to go and read the article again. It's on the Sky News, man. So, it's happening, man. Okay, we're living in these times, man. The scripture says that measured out of time diligently in itself, right? <clears throat> Second Ezra 9 and 1, he answered me then and said, measured out of time diligently in itself. When thou hast seen part of the signs past, which I have told you before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we're seeing it, man. The Lord is beginning to visit this place, man. You know, this is definitely the end. So we just got to continue to pray, you know, measure, you know, stay in the prophecies, pray. Uh, be brotherly, man, and, you know, just endure to the end, you know. He that endures to the end, the same shall be saved, man. So, yeah, I'll um, catch you in the next one, man. Shalom.